So the first thing that we notice with this question is that all of the answer choices are graphs, right? So I could technically call this a diagram question, although usually, you know, diagram questions are because the question itself has some visual input. But, you know, sometimes the answer choices instead have all the visual and the question itself is just like a, you know, a source of information to match to that visual. So I'm going to call this a diagram question. Let's look at what the information says, and then we'll figure out which one of the graphs matches that info. So the question says a text messaging plan charges a flat fee of $5 per month. So just write that down. So I'm treating this like a translate word problem as well. So $5 per month for up to, so I'll say, uh, you know, for, I'll just do arrows, 100 text messages. Sent plus 25 cent per each additional text message. Okay, so plus 0 0.25 dollars per message once you get over the 100. Which of the following graphs represents the cost Y of sending X text messages or X texts in a month? Okay, so we can pretty much figure out, right? Like, you know, between zero, so if I were graphing this myself, for instance, the cost should remain at $5 all the way up to the point where I reach 100 text messages. As soon as I get to, let's say, 101, this should inch up just by 25 cents, right? So it'll be like $5.25. So the further away I get from 100, each time, right, the cost is going up by 25 cents. So which one of the question, which one of the graphs matches that information? That would be answer choice A, right? B starts off good, but then at 100, it starts to go down in cost, which doesn't make sense. C goes up from the very start, so we don't have that flat um, positioning between 0 and 100, so that's gone. And D also just goes down the entire time, which also makes no sense. So choice A is the best answer here.